In this video, you will find out how to fix the most common freestyle mistakes. Watch this video to correct your swimming technique. Welcome to the channel! When you fix these mistakes, you will be able to swim much longer and much faster. The most common mistake that crucial affects a swimmer is made during the arm stroke. If swimmers perform an arm stroke with low elbow position, the swimmer doesn't catch as much water and pulls from the surface. Arm strokes are the most important element of freestyle swimming. By performing a correct arm stroke, you'll be able to catch large amount of water and pull to gain speed and move forward. Therefore, each swimmer must be sure that the arm soak technique is correct. If you have this mistake, you will learn how to fix it. Actually, this is easy. The mistake comes in the first phase of an arm soak. In the beginning of a correct arm soak, the forearm is turned inside and elbow look upwards. If you have wrong technique, your forearm is not turned inside and elbow look downwards. Forearm position is the key part of this mistake. There is no chance to perform a correct arm soak when the swimmer's forearm is not turned inside and the elbow is directed downwards. In this position, an arm soak movement is the same as a swimmer is pulling a rope. This is the wrong movement for swimming. An important point is that a swimmer is not able to catch the water and push it. By performing such arm soaks, hands will go through the water and swimming will become harder and super inefficient. First, in the beginning of the arm soak, you need to turn your forearm inside so that your elbow is directed upwards. In this position, it is impossible to perform an arm soak wrong. In the first part of the arm soak, you need to catch the water. You should perform a movement with your forearm facing downwards while your elbow stays in high position. By doing a correct catch of the water, you will be able to pull the water. When you catch the water, you need to start performing the arm soak by using entire arm. A high elbow position allows you to include your back muscles. When you use incorrect arm soak technique, you can use only your arm muscles. So during the entire arm stroke, try to keep high elbow position. Here is the best dryland exercise to set up your correct arm soak technique. While doing this drill, you'll get absolutely another feeling of the arm soak. You need to take a chair or a bench, locate the chair in front of you and put one hand on it. This imitates your starting position of the arm soak. Then turn the forearm inside to get high elbow position. Once the arm is ready, perform an arm soak with high elbow position and push the chair backwards. Now you can see incorrect way to perform an arm soak. In the starting position, the elbow looks downwards. While performing the arm soak, the elbow drops down and hand is pulling the chair as a rope. When arm soak is performed, you can continue doing arm soaks in the air to memorize the correct arm position. Take a video of you performing this drill to figure out whether you have good arm soak technique or not. While swimming freestyle, you need to take a breath to the side. A common mistake swimmers make is when they perform an arm stroke while taking a breath. You want to breathe while your hand is in recovery and another hand is in front. At this moment, your upper body is turned to the side. One hand is recovering forwards and another hand is in front to provide support for the body. When a swimmer performs an arm stroke while being turned to the side, the arm follows the wrong trajectory. Swimmer doesn't have a chance to control the arm soak while taking a breath. Therefore, the arm catches the water properly, but then it leaves the correct trajectory and goes close to the body. 
Imagine how much these mistakes affect your swimming, if at every breath your arm soak is useless. Watch carefully how to fix that. First, you need to work on dryland to get the correct feeling of the movements. In my next videos, I will teach in details how to get correct breathing technique in freestyle. Now we will focus on the timing for starting a new arm stroke. While performing an arm stroke, another hand is located in front. It helps to get support on the water and glide forward. In the end of the arm stroke, you need to turn the head to take a breath. At the same time, the arm is recovering forwards, while the other hand is still out in front. Remember an important rule. You cannot start an arm stroke when your head is turned to the side. When a breath is taken, you return your head to neutral position. At the same time, you start a new arm stroke and recover another arm forwards. This timing of the movements guarantees that the arm soak will be done in correct body position. Try to memorize the feelings and the rhythm. While performing an arm soak, focus that the arm goes on almost straight trajectory and doesn't go under the stomach, as you have seen in incorrect swimming. To sum up this mistake, start a new arm soak only when your head is back after the breath and your body is directed forwards. Many swimmers lack of basic swimming skills, such as breathing technique. Often, adult swimmers learn to swim alone, without a coach. They succeed, but there are high chances that some technical elements will be missed. A common mistake is lifting head up for breathing. This is a serious mistake. It makes swimming hard, inefficient and damages other technical elements. For many swimmers, it seems that it is much easier to lift the head up to take a breath. However, it's not. It is harder and much more uncomfortable to breathe this way. By breathing like this, your body gets down into the water and speed slows down dramatically. I recommend that all of you learn to breathe correctly in freestyle. First, you must start doing freestyle rotations with breathies on land. Imagine that you have an axis that is going through your body from legs to the head. By having this axis, you cannot move your head anywhere except rotating around the axis. So while performing freestyle rotations, turn your head only to the side. While taking a breath, keep your head in horizontal position and then return your head to neutral position. Correct breathing technique to the side is much more comfortable and much easier than lifting your head up. Swimming will become smooth and you will not spend any additional energy for breathing. You will literally enjoy your swimming. In the water, you need to practice breathing technique by performing swimming drills. The best drill for practicing side breathing technique is to do kicking against the wall. One hand is in front and another hand is by your side. You need to take a breath to the side and constantly perform good kicks. While performing this drill, don't lift your head up at all. Turn it only to the side. To succeed in this drill, you should try to keep one of your eyes under the water. Perform this drill for 30 seconds and have a break. While swimming, try to take a breath exactly in the same way as you were doing in the kicking drill. Don't be afraid that water will get into your mouth. While taking a breath, lift your mouth to the side, which is above the water. Every competitive swimmer does it. Do it too, and your swimming will become comfortable. Swimming technique requires constant attention and improvement. By swimming hard, intensive training sessions, our technique falls apart little by little. This is not a problem if you have a stable swimming foundation. However, if you don't, technique can easily be ruined. Another common mistake is to take short arm strokes. Often, this mistake happens due to swimmers trying to rush and skipping swimming skills. 
By performing short arm strokes, swimming becomes hard. Swimmer gets tired very quickly and body position lows. In the beginning of the arm stroke, you need to catch the water in high elbow position. This is half of your successful arm stroke. You need to perform a long arm stroke with the proper trajectory. In freestyle lessons, I will explain in details everything about the arm stroke. Stay tuned! In the end of the correct arm stroke, your hand should extend and your fingers should touch your leg. Once you touch it, you know you are in good position. For triathlon swimmers, it is super important to perform long, efficient arm strokes in order to increase swimming speed and save the energy for cycling and running. By doing correct arm strokes, you will notice how much easier and more enjoyable swimming is for you. The common mistake is have large bending at the knees. Many swimmers don't know how to perform kicks, know the leg movement, what the rhythm is, or what muscles must be working. This approach cannot provide sufficient kicking technique. The worst part of incorrect kicking is that it slows down your swimming speed. Plus, it takes a lot of swimmer's energy. Kicking doesn't provide a large speed boost. Thus, it is not that important for swimming and especially for triathlon. That's why we need to reduce any movements that decreases our speed and create water resistance. First step to start is swimming with straight legs. However, you should keep your legs relaxed. Due to water resistance, your legs will not be straight, they will bend at the knees. In other words, your legs should be relaxed and at the same time straight. This will help you to perform correct kicks. Kicking amplitude should not be too high. Ideal kicks are performed in body streamline. A drill to set up your technique is freestyle kicking in vertical position. You can keep your hands on the lane rope, on the water surface, or in any other comfortable position. Kicking in vertical position will force you to perform kicks with straight legs, bending a little at the knees. This is the only way to stay in this vertical position. If you bend legs too much, most likely you won't be able to stay in stable position. While performing this drill, try to memorize the feelings of correct kicking to repeat them while swimming freestyle. You can do vertical kicks for 30 seconds and have a break. Now you are able to fix and avoid any of these mistakes by practicing exercises and swimming drills. Do it regularly and your swimming will be fast and easy. What do you think is the biggest mistake? Low elbow arm stroke, arm stroke while breathing, or lifting head for taking a breath? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel and share my videos with your swimming friends.